Today we are going to have a new chapter, new chapter 6. We will be covering Jesus is a lot of disciples. Jesus heals a man with paralyzed right hand. Jesus chooses 12 disciples and the Sermon on the Plain. Or in other words, Sermon on the Mount. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so because of time, I don't ask you to do that. I think I would just go through that. So, oh, I think also can read. Okay, who can read? Can read? Yeah. Jesus was walking through some wheat fields on the Sabbath. His disciples began to pick the heads of wheat, rub them in their hands, and eat the grain. Some Pharisees asked, Why are you doing what our law says you cannot do on the Sabbath? Okay, do you know what's the meaning of Sabbath? Holy day. Uh, Sabbath is a holy day for the Jews. It's equivalent to our Sunday today. But for the Sabbath, it's actually the seventh day, which is actually our Saturday. Eh? Normally, Sabbath day coincides with our Saturday. But for the Jews, the Sabbath day is a very holy day. They cannot work, they cannot even cook on that day. They cannot heal the sick also on that day. And so they are very strict. Even I've been to Israel, I go to the lift. The lift will open by itself, floor by floor. And you don't even need to touch the Saturday. Okay, so it's so strict. So in this case, Jesus is uh, going through the, on the Sabbath day, going through the big fields, and his disciples actually were doing something which they cannot do on the Sabbath day. But they were having, you know, that means that then later they are eating the, the wheat. Okay, so they are doing, one is, they are rubbing, which is for work, working. So that is absolutely forbidden under the Jewish law. They cannot do that. Okay? So the Pharisees, who are the Pharisees? The Pharisees are the leaders of the Jews. Ah, there are two main groups. There are actually three main groups. Teachers of the law, Pharisees, and one more is called the Sadducees. Pharisees, the group, they believe in the resurrection. The Sadducees, they do not believe in the resurrection. But they are all uh, very religious people, especially the Pharisees. Okay, so they say, oh, Jesus, what are you doing? Is forbidden under the law. The law actually is the law of Moses. Eh? Sometimes the Bible puts the law of the law and all that. Not like it refers to the law of Moses. Okay. Next. What's that? Jesus answered them, Haven't you read what David did when he and his men were hungry? He went into the house of God, took the bread offered to God, ate it, and gave it also to his men. Yet it is against our law for anyone except the priest to eat that bread. And Jesus concluded the Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. Okay, what how did Jesus answer them? Jesus actually used two things to answer them. Huh? Two answer. One is that he tells the story of King David. You can see under your notes is under the book of First Samuel, as written in First Samuel. In this incident, King David was running away from King Saul. Because King Saul is trying to kill him. King Saul is very jealous of King David and he was looking to kill him. And so King David, he ran away with his people. The time is not yet king. Nah, nah, nah. Okay, but he ran away and he, he came to this temple and he was very hungry. And in this temple, some of the bread had been offered to God. Okay, like it's a sacrifice to God. So it's a, when you offer something to God, it's like holy bread. Nah, nah. Okay, but in this case, King David asked permission from the priest and the priest actually allowed him to eat. So he ate something that is holy, nah, nah, supposed to be holy. Okay, so what did uh, Jesus try to say that? Uh, is it against the law now to eat? Actually, it's against the law. Lah. Okay, but anyway, because it's more important to save life. Because if you don't eat, King David will die. Nah, nah. So it is to save life. Okay, secondly, who is Jesus? Jesus is not a man. He's not a God. Ah, he's God. And he, we believe, is ah, the creator of heaven and earth. Of course, the Jews they do not believe. The Pharisees do not believe. So he's the creator. And if he's the creator, everything belongs to him. Even Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So, Sabbath day is also one of the days that God created. Ah, God is the creator. That's why he said, the Son of Man is the Lord. So, if he's the Lord, he can do anything on that day. So, what he did is nothing wrong. Of course, the Jews, they cannot accept it, because they, they, they think he's only a human being. Okay, next. On another Sabbath, Jesus went to 
God and God. A man was there, his right hand was paralyzed. The features of the law and some Pharisees wanted a reason to accuse Jesus of being wrong. So they watched him proceed to see if he was healed on the Sabbath. So this one is another Sabbath day. And uh, Jesus is now in, right, in the synagogue. What's the synagogue? It's the place where they worship God. Okay? It's not the temple. The temple, there's only one temple, but there are a lot of synagogues. Okay? Where the Jews gather together to <coughs> worship God and uh, talk to one another. So, anyway, in this synagogue, there's a man whose right hand was paralyzed. Earlier, the last miracle was Jesus healed a man who is totally paralyzed. So this man actually is only paralyzed in the right hand. It means only his right hand cannot move. Right? Okay, it could be like that, okay, could be like that, cannot move. Right? Okay? So once again we see these two group of people always they're looking, watching at Jesus, trying to find fault at him. Right? So these teachers of law and Pharisees, they want a reason to accuse. They want, actually they, they are not there, they, they go there with a evil intent. The intention is not to like, ready to examine Jesus, they already wishing, looking for things to accuse Jesus. Okay? So they are waiting and see whether Jesus is going to do something wrong. And see whether Jesus is going to heal on the Sabbath. Because Jesus, he do a lot of miracles. He heal a lot of people everywhere. But for the Jews, Sabbath day, you cannot heal any people. And on the Sabbath day, you also cannot go and ask for healing. Okay? So they were watching Jesus closely. So what do you think Jesus did? Okay, next week. Jesus that their thoughts and say to a man, stand up as much as you want. The man got up and stood there. The man didn't see him as I ask you, what does our law allow us to do on the Sabbath? How to come and say so much time to do this one? Okay, so uh, the same case, right? Last time also, we read Jesus knew their thoughts. Uh, this is the second time we come across this word. Jesus knew their thoughts. That means Jesus know what they are thinking. Okay, so even today, if we do something, God knows our thoughts. So we must be. Don't think that nobody sees what they are doing. We can do anything. Right? But Jesus knows our thoughts. Okay? So he tell the man, stand up and come here to the front. Who is the man? The man with the paralyzed hand. Right? They ask him to come up. Then later Jesus asked the people a question. And they asked the Jews, what are the leaders? What does our law allow us to do? So he's trying to test them. Do you think Jesus knows the answer? Yes. Yeah, Jesus knows the answer. So Jesus actually knows. Huh? So he actually Jesus just let us know. Huh? Especially us today. Huh? So to tell us that, of course, Sabbath is important day, right? Huh? But it's important that they do good on the Sabbath. Even, uh, even on uh, sun, Sunday to the Christian is very important. But if somebody is sick, does the doctor open the clinic to help the sick person? Yeah. Should do so. Why not? Uh, so don't say, oh, it's today, uh, Sunday, uh, how you do? <coughs> so I cannot help people, I cannot do anything. No, uh, we can do good to save life. Of course, today also, we use Sunday to uh, worship God and go to church. Okay. Next. So Jesus, even though he know that these Jews are against him, yet he still healed. Why? To demonstrate that we should do what is right. Mm -hmm. uh, even though people go against us, if you know it's the right thing to do, uh, like the prefect, uh, it's sometimes it's very difficult for people to do it. But if that's the right thing to do, you have to do it, you have to do it. Uh, uh, for, because it's the necessary to do what is right. So you must do what is right, even though people don't like you. So in this case, the Jews are very angry. Actually, they want to kill you, man. So we must continue, we must uh, learn what Jesus teaches, do what is right. Secondly, we also know it's more important than all the laws Lord, huh? is actually for man, human beings. Right? We should not let all the laws make us uh, forget. Because we have to love God and also love man. Of course, Old Testament is different. Huh? The Old Testament law is different. Okay? But Jesus come to bring us a new, not say a new law, a, a new interpretation of the law. Okay, next. Okay, it's time to read. Can the stream you jump up 
very often we see Jesus going alone to pray. Because why? Jesus is still a human. Not that he's God, but he's still human. He also can be tired and has, above all, we need to have communication with God. So today also we need to seek God in prayer. Uh, do you pray all night? There are some churches. <laughs> They will have this home watch over service, they will pray. Right? But generally, we are very few will, will do that. Right? But nowadays, I also do not. I always do my very early, but I get to pray. Right? Okay, very early in the morning, four something, I wake up. Okay? When I will in bed, then I will pray. You know? Of course, we pray in the Holy Spirit, right? because we pray in which is sometimes very early. So, in this case, Jesus prayed throughout the night. And also, one important reason you see the next day, what is Jesus supposed to do? He is going to choose 12 apostles. Huh? So when you want to choose 12 people, whom is you are going to like, like your disciple, who is close, very close to them. Because these people will follow Jesus, and we read that one of them actually is a traitor. Right? Okay, but there has got to be a traitor, right? Because the, the word of God, the prophecies has got to be fulfilled. So Jesus is going to make a very important decision. So we should learn from Jesus that whenever we need to make very important decisions, maybe next time when we are 10 years, 11, we should see to go what course you are supposed to study. Whether you're going to take BK or all that. Science. <laughs> they say, I think today or tomorrow, they say there's an educational talk. So you better ask and you look around. You know? And of course, the most important, we must pray and sing God. Sometimes we have a human reasoning. We may think like that, but then God has a higher purpose for So Jesus wants to uh, choose 12 apostles, that's why he's praying. Okay, next. Yeah. The people touch Jesus, they also get healed. Ah, you want to touch me? 
same thing in the same thing in Jesus and all. Okay, so there's a great reward. So don't be sad. Because why? The same thing happened to all the ancestors and prophets. Even Peter, all the apostles are Peter, Paul, they actually were behaved as some of them executed. So Christian doesn't mean God will protect you forever. Right? Sometimes you will die. Of course, our reward where? It's in heaven. Okay, next. After this, I'm beginning to go faster. Okay. Never mind, I think I'll go faster because not, not much time, huh? So now the car after the Beatitudes now comes to the woes. Woes are like curse, uh, so something bad. Uh. So he said, oh, those who are rich, those who are full, not F O L, uh, F-O-L uh, those who mix people. So these are all is it wrong to be rich? No, uh, he's talking about people who are rich, either rich using the illegal means or bad means, they cheat people, corrupter. Okay, all those people who are rich. But they never do charity, never help the poor, never donate to the church. Okay? How about those who are full? Similarly, those who have a lot of food to eat, but they never share with the other people. There's a case of the Lazarus and the rich man. The Lazarus is a beggar. Just beside the rich man's house, the rich man is very rich, but he never give food to the beggar. So these are people huh, who are selfish for themselves. How about those who are spoken well? This refer to people. Some of the people we really admire, huh? politicians and all that, right? Not even celebrities. Everybody speak well of them. But of course, they are not living a life that is what they are portraying. Later, you farm out. Okay, sometimes people look at you, then they say good things about you. Only you yourself know whether you deserve it. Huh? So we should be very humble. Right? Everyone of us seen and used. So, but some, some people are like, like Julius Caesar, Herod, and all that. Huh? Yeah, the people praised them, they were very happy. But these are people, what's it? Uh, terrible. Sometimes you'll be terrible. Like King Herod, huh? in the Acts, they say, oh, he speaks like God. Then he didn't give glory to God. It turned worms in his. And he died. He's supposed to go off. So, these are the terrible so, wolves. Okay. What did Jesus teach us? Jesus teach us all this. Love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who you treat you, those who hit you on one cheek, let him hit you. So you see that God uh, wants us to be different from other people. How many people you hit and hit you back? Right? Uh, okay? And uh, you do something, you curse me, I curse you back. Uh, but Jesus no, uh, Jesus said, love your enemies, do good to those who Hate you, bless you, curse you. Okay? Of course, it's very difficult, right? Today, right? People give you right side, you want to let him right? So, what actually Jesus is saying that we shouldn't retaliate, right? we be violent, okay? We overcome. Yes, right? Dr. Moses let me tell the story, right? Uh, they still is uh, not here, right? Uh, the the, the tiny man, you know, is it water? They steal the water from his farm. He said he, he helped the other person to. Water is fun. Yeah. Okay. Give to everyone who asks you something. Okay? And when someone takes what is yours, they ask for it. Do for others just what you want them to do for you. If you love only the people who love you, why should you be the same blessing? So, do you give to everyone who asks you? Huh? So, I think it's good uh, just to be generous. Sometimes it's the... We, when we lend some things to people, sometimes people they won't return to us. Right? And then we become very angry. So normally when we lend money, we, we must have a heart. He may not pay me back. Consider already given to him. Really. If we return, that will good, but you don't return, forgive him. Right? Right? You must be angry. Okay? So do things that are good. Okay? You want people to love you, love them. You want people to respect you, respect others. Okay? You want people to, to help you, help others. So do what for others, just what you want them to do for you. Because what? Right, these things are different. The world is like that. You do something good, you do something bad, I do something bad to you. By prison, you do something bad to us, we do something good to them. Okay, how about lending? I explained already, huh? Okay, you must not only do only good to you. Good friends, but also good to the sinners. Love your enemies. Ah, love your enemies, do good to them. Then expect nothing back. Then you get 
Bible said, so if you do so much generous thing, you don't hope for a return, who is going to bless you? Maybe not the people, eh? but God. For example, you may have a good health, you don't need to see the doctor so much, that saves you a lot of money. Right? Or maybe, like me, if I do good, maybe God bless my children. Right? My children is blessed, then I hope that I So if you do good, God will bless you. Then give me five minutes, eh? Okay. Be merciful. Just as your father is merciful, do not judge others, and God will not judge you, do not condemn others, and God will not condemn you for being others and God. Isn't this all very good teaching? So we don't always look at people, oh, you do this, you do that. We will look at ourselves. Huh? Don't say, oh, it's always they, this person always don't do this, don't do that. Uh, we must judge others. Okay? Do not condemn others. God will not condemn us. Forgive us and God will forgive us. Okay, this is once again about giving. So who is going to bless us back? Is God. He will bless us with full measure. So if you, if you are very stingy, God will be very stingy with you. But if you are very generous, God will be very generous with you. Uh, how much you give to others, that's what God will give you. And as believe God actually gives us more than we can imagine. When you read the miracles, God every time, He multiplies the bread, the fishes. Always there's leftover one. Okay, many baskets of leftover one. So God is a very generous God. Okay, so this is about the teaching of our blind. So we need to register your heart and learn what is right. Because we do we learn the wrong thing, we will teach other people. Let's say I think I learned the wrong thing, I also teach you the wrong thing. And the blind, you need the blind. Okay? So can you all be better than me? You know? Of course you can be better than me, eh? Okay? Of course it's not about Jesus. Huh? No one can be better than Jesus. Okay? Okay, this are once again about judging others. When we judge others, it's like we have the, uh, uh, when we judge others, we oh, I see something wrong with you or your eyes or something in the eyes. But you forget your own eyes, maybe there's something really blocking you. So that means what? You want to correct others, but you yourself actually also suffer from maybe even bigger sin. You see, this person still uh, stealing, stealing, but you yourself maybe even worse, you are a robber. Uh, so we don't always judge others. We look at ourselves first. Okay? So that's what the Bible said. Take the lock out of your own eye and then you will be seen. So always, before we judge others, look at others wrong, we look at ourselves. Okay. Then there's no more parable one, the parable of the tree and the fruit. Okay, only good tree will produce good fruit. Durian will produce durian fruit. Run it. If a bad tree will produce rotten durian, uh, a good durian tree will produce good work. So what does that mean is that if you are a good person, you are going to produce good works. Okay? If you are a person who loves God, you will do something good for God. Okay? So what you do reflect on you. The tree actually is you. Okay? Whether you are going to produce good or bad all depends on you. And I know you by what you do. Okay? <coughs> so same, huh? All depends on you. So if you always talk backwards, I think you must be always thinking about that things, huh? huh? If you always joke dirty jokes, <laughs> you also have some dirty in your mind. Huh? So a person will be out of his heart, and from the heart, you will speak out of his heart. Okay, now there are finally the parable of the two house builders. So Jesus speaks a lot of things. So what Jesus say? If you listen to him and you obey him, then you are like a man that is building a house on the rock. Okay? Even if the flood came, everything, the house will stand. But if you are somebody who do, do not who listen but never do. So doing is very important. Sometimes I listen to you never do. So if you don't do, you are building a house upon the sand. When the flood comes, the water flow and all that, the house will fall. Okay? What does this flood and uh, things that means something bad happened to your life? Uh? Okay, maybe an uh, accident, uh, or maybe something happened to your family, maybe sickness. So it cause you to lose your faith. That's why it's very important not only to listen, but to do it and obey God. Okay? That's all, huh? I go very fast about that, right? 
Okay, let's pray. Father in heaven, we thank you, Lord, for your word. Help us, O God, to be like a good house builder, that we will not only listen and understand the word of God, but really practice and obey the word of God. We thank you. Bless your people in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.